Oh boy everyone, Mark is here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I will be giving you my initial performance review of the brand new KD15. So guys, I know a lot of you have been waiting for my initial impression on the KD15. I just got this yesterday so it's really fresh out of the store and luckily it was released here in the Philippines so I believe it was also released in Korea so without further ado let's start off first with the upper of the KD15 the KD15's upper has a very similar feel to the KD14's upper which has a, a two-layered upper which has a net-like material on top of it then there's an underlying fabric below that is like neoprene it's very soft to the skin and what's nice about it is it's soft too i didn't need any break in time for this material of the kd15 and while you go on the mid part of the sticker where they change up the strap they remove the strap from the 15 and implemented this plastic piece from the lateral and middle part which acts as wing so it's from the forefoot midfoot part and also around the midfoot ankle part of the sneaker. So what this does is when you tighten this up, it hugs your foot to the ground. So you really need to crank this up so that it really pulls your foot down and locks your foot down, especially for lateral support. When you're doing lateral cut, it feels very, very nice. And if you're worrying about discomfort, don't worry, there's no discomfort. The tongue of the KD-15 is really soft and it's nicely incorporated too you can see this holes so it's very well ventilated even the upper i told you it's a uh, very thin material and the underlying fabric is also thin so the sneaker is very well ventilated i like it i like the swoosh here on this colorway too it has a very graffiti like color to it a vault like color it has a uh, other reverse swoosh here in the middle part of the sneaker while at the back part it has this foam back mesh it has an internal TPU and of course this is a question that a lot of you have been asking my IG when I posted the sticker about the heel containment and lockdown you have been asking that I don't know where you got it maybe some site that said it has some heel containment issue at first right off when I started playing with it it was kind of having some heel slippage but after breaking in the cushion, I believe it is because of the foam of the KD-15. It's kind of stiff at first. It is a lot softer now. It's a lot flexible right now compared to the first try that I wore it. And right now, heel containment lockdown, I didn't have any problem. Just really tighten up the laces, especially this last lace loop. Just tighten this so that your foot will be pulled down to this heel it's concave here your foot will be stuck here although there's not much achilles pillows here i don't know if you can see it it's not much achilles pillows it's very thin but it is concave so your heel is locked here on this part on this curved part so lockdown right now seems to be okay it's not the best you won't feel that hugging feel like what you felt on the KD14 like it's really hugging your ankle because it, that's a more of a mid cut sneaker this is more of a low my ankle bone is right about here so it's more of a low cut sneaker what's nice about it you have the freedom of movement around your ankle like I said just get the right size for the KD15 and a little disclaimer I was trying this out last night with my KD14s the KD14s and the 15 has a similar width around the forefoot part but around the midfoot is where you can see it's really curved around the midfoot on the KD14 it's wider here by maybe a centimeter or two so wide footer watch out for the KD15 it is a narrow sneaker that's what I initially felt on the first time that I wore the KD15 it felt really narrow around the midfoot sadly I wouldn't suggest this on a wide footer but for a regular narrow footer, especially if you're a narrow foot, you will love the KD-14. And it's kind of long, so I couldn't go 11.5 on the KDs because it will be a little bit longer for me. So I stuck with the 11s and 
after breaking it in, after making this plastic key softer, and I'm currently wearing the thickest basketball socks that I have. This is the power grip from Nike. It's the thickest socks that I have. So I tried it here so that I could feel if there would be a bit of a constraint. But so far, so good. I was playing like about two hours already straight and I didn't feel any discomfort on the KD-15. After the insole of the KD-15, I couldn't remove it right now, but it has a similar insole found in the KD-14 and the Kobe 6 Proto. It's like a styrofoam-like insole. It's not that thick, but it molds up to your foot when it warms up and kind of hugs your foot and falls your foot shape, which is really nice. And of course, moving on to the cushion part of the KD-15, this has a full lens zoom struggle similar to the KD-14. If you like the KD-14s, you will surely love the KD-15s. But a little difference is the carrying cushion. I believe this is cushion, but in the Nike site, it didn't state that it's cushion, just said foam. But I believe it's also cushion. It has a similar feeling to the foam of the 14s, which is cushion. And the main difference about the foam slab is this is thicker by a bit compared to the KD-14. The KD-14 is lower to the ground. So if you want more cushion, you want more impact protection, but still having that nice responsiveness, because the full lens zoom struggle is really, really responsive. It gives you a bounce back, a quick bounce back. And that's what's nice about it compared to the full length air struggle. The full length air struggle has a little bit of delay. This one, has a very nice responsiveness to it even though there's a thicker slab of cushion on the KD-15. Now let's move on to the traction of the KD-15. It has this wave-like, rain-like pattern from the forefoot to the heel and what I have is an EP version and the rubber compound is thick enough. I believe if you play with this outdoors, it is okay. And this mid part, this blue part is plastic. That's plastic, so it's a torsional support on the KD-15 and even this plastic piece here. It gives that extra torsional support and stability so that it doesn't twist that much and doesn't bend that much and gives you a very nice recoil when you're running up and down the floor. And that's one thing that I noticed with the KD-15 and the 14. The KD-15 has a bit more spring back to it, a more recoil because it has a thicker foam. And of course, this plastic piece, but the KD-14 has a plastic piece too. Uh, it basically differs on the cushion because this is a lot thicker compared to the 14s. That's why it's harder to bend the KD-15s by just a bit. But after bringing it in, it won't be a problem. As for the grip of the traction, I almost forgot about the grip. The grip of the traction, I'm currently playing on a very, very dusty floor. Uh, I need to wipe uh, about three runs up and down the floor but after that I was sticking but comparing it with the other sneakers that my friends are currently using one is using a Kobe a PG6 and they were slipping kind of slipping but with this one even though I didn't wipe it I was still sticking a bit so dust pickup is not that much of a problem on the KD15 so so far so good on dust pickup the pattern and the traction it's wide enough so that dust particles won't stick that much here. Traction on the KD-15 looks very, very promising. As for the price of the KD-15s, is 8,095 pesos here in the Philippines. So, so that's around 160 US dollars. So it's more expensive than the KD-40s. I believe the KD-40s was about 7,500 if I'm not mistaken. So there's a price increase on this one. I don't know why. Maybe because of the thicker cushion. I don't know, but it's more expensive by a bit. But so far, so good. So let me know what you think about the KD-15, about the looks. Are you copying this? I'll be continuing using this. I'll be breaking it some more. I will let me know in the final performance review of the KD-15 on my final verdict on this sneaker. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.